welcome back. You're watching Beyond Focus TV. I'm Lydia Patel. And as always, I have a very special guest for you, Majin Dazume. She'll be with us for the next 30 minutes. She'll be with us, so don't miss it. You're watching Beyond Focus TV. Beyond Focus TV allows you to discuss contemporary topics affecting the Caribbean people on both the national and local level. The show features informed guests who offer insight, debate, and evaluate various issues. Beyond Focus TV builds on the station's mission to provide useful information to the Caribbean people in New York and abroad. Beyond Focus TV, where our viewing audience can get educated, informed, and empowered. Welcome back. You're watching Beyond Focus TV. I'm Lydia Patel, and we have Sejali Couture in the house. Ladies, welcome to the program. Thank you for having me. So we have, of course, Mijin. You are the founder, the president, the brainchild behind Sejali, and you have some beautiful models with you, which we'll get to introduce yes, in I just do. a moment. Mm -hmm. um, so tell us a little bit about yourself and how this all got started for you. Um, I started as a model um, when I was in college, and I had a fashion show. Then after I did my first modeling, then I was like, hmm, I think I'm going to keep doing this. Mm -hmm. Then doing my modeling career and... That's when I thinking about I can come with my own design. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So prior to college, when growing up, you know, as women, we look at the magazines, we watch TV. What were you mostly attracted to in terms of fashion? In terms of, of fashion, I'm a stylist also. Um, I wasn't looking to be a model. Mm -hmm. Um, just like being fashionable, and that's all. Then after that, after my first show, that's when I get into it and what type of modeling were you started directly into was it runway runway wow mm -hmm. so tell us about that experience how was that for you it was fun it was fun it was in my school all the students my classmates mm -hmm. were exciting seeing the show mm -hmm. yeah it was fun mm -hmm. is there anything about the fashion industry that you got to learn about that you didn't necessarily expect going in there for someone who's not from the business mm -hmm. And it's not until you're actually doing it that you realize, oh, I, n I never expected it to be like this. Mm -hmm. For example, um, when you go into a casting call, you don't have to wear a lot of makeup, just a little bit, and make sure you wear black, all black, and black pumps. I learn a lot about the mm -hmm. fashion industry when I get in it. Yeah. Absolutely. And then fast forward, you know, you started doing your own show and now mm -hmm. you have your own designs that you get to showcase here. So ladies, I'm going to start right over here. I'll start with you. Why don't you introduce yourself? Hi, my name is Melissa Gale. Melissa Gale. So tell us about you, Melissa. You know, you're modeling here for Majin. You're a part of Sejali Couture. How do you feel um, getting the opportunity as a young lady to be a part of this? Honestly, it's, it's it's a breath of fresh air because growing up, I was really shy. So mm -hmm. my mom kind of threw me into modeling, hoping that it would, like, you know, take me out of my shell. And it, it did. And meeting Ms. Meijin was the best thing that could ever happen to me. Oh, that's uh, that's amazing. Mm -hmm. And and Miss Flowers, why don't you tell us about yourself? <laughs> Introduce yourself. <laughs> Hi, my name is Shanice Baptiste Peters. I'm 14 years old, currently going into high school, and I've been modeling for about four years now. Absolutely. That's great. And I love the confidence and how you speak. And you, you seem excited about this, so this is great. Yeah. <laughs> and, and last but not least, why don't you introduce yourself? Hi, my name is Sini Chanel. I'm 25, and I've been modeling seriously now for like two years. Okay, so mm -hmm. it's really nice to see a good mix you've got from the younger girls through 25. They're all doing great things. And to hear good comments that when they could say that one of the best things that happened to them mm -hmm. is meeting you. How does that make you feel? It makes me feel good because in the fashion industry, it can be very tough mm -hmm. for those young ladies. So I understand what can be happening. So this is the reason why I'm trying to make it easy for them to show them something different. Absolutely. Now, the modeling industry has changed so much and it's still depending if you're looking at fashion, mm -hmm. still very Eurocentric, but you've kind of carved out your own little space yes. where minority women, different body sizes, different shapes, because we are not negative zero. Mm -hmm. And I, I've done Couture Fashion Week a long time ago, and I remember being told by a designer that I was stretching out his dress. 
Wow. And it's such a hurtful yes, it is. thing when you're standing amongst these girls who are, they don't understand our bodies are shaped differently. Mm-hmm. We are wider. Our hips are, it's just a genetic. It's just something we can't even help that. Yeah, that can be hurtful. It can be. And it's something that, depending on how you, ch- I channeled it in a positive way because I wasn't going to let this person's comments stop me. You have to have thick, st- thick skin to be in the fashion industry. You just channel that and be yeah, like, you know what? just wash it off and keep it moving. It may not, I may not be the right look for you. And somebody, somebody another else. designer will like you. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. So now you created a space where you can now employ and embrace other women. Absolutely. So what would you say is the mission behind, one of the core values behind Sejali Couture? We are in Sejali Couture. I want to make um, the ladies feel good about themselves when they're wearing my design. Confident. They have to have confident, absolutely. And yeah, make them feel good, basically, when they have my design on. So what about inspiration? Of course, you know, that's one of the biggest things Mm -hmm. is, you know, Things change and come and go, but what really inspires Mijin? As of right now, I do not have any inspiration. My inspiration is me because I wake up every day. I have to push myself too. I'm just inspired by myself, to mm-hmm. be honest. And that's fair. That's a great statement. You know, mm-hmm. not everything is. It could be something so simple. It could just be like right now. I'll have you describe these in, in a moment, but you know, you have three different styles mm-hmm. and the patterns of fabric. So we could even go into that because I like to get into the head of the designer. Why did you choose this type of fabric or that coloring? Mm-hmm. Um, I picked this fabric because it's very <coughs> Africanish. Mm-hmm. Like, I like the golden mm-hmm. print on it. It's like a cream, a very powerful print, I would mm-hmm. say. Absolutely. And then the flowers. They're so springy. And yeah, and the flowers. I'm from Haiti. I want to bring some um, some of my culture to it. Some mm-hmm. exotic, something exotic. So that's why I choose these flowers. I have headpiece with flowers. And, mm-hmm. yeah. and then the last piece? The last piece is actually um, African point two. And it's very... Black queen, mm-hmm. I'm here to dance, I'm here to party. Mm-hmm. Yeah, powerful. That's it. Mm-hmm. We, we love the powerful designs. Mm-hmm. And that's always important, you know, to definitely make sure it's something that represents, that makes you guys feel confident. Absolutely. So ladies, I want you to each describe how do you feel about this piece that you're personally wearing? What do you love about it? I love this part. Yes. <laughs> I don't really know what to call it. That's that, like, that's that <laughs> Wakanda piece. It definitely has <laughs> definitely. that, you know, you've got your arm cuffs and your neck cuffs. <laughs> yeah, I, I like it, you know. Um, girls growing up, they would wear this piece and vibe, you know, the Afrocentric, mm-hmm. everything, and I want to study African studies in college. I'm 17, by the way, so It'd when nice. I go to college, I will be doing African studies in this kind of, you know, speaks to me in Speaks a way. to that. Well, hold that thought. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back. You're watching Beyond Focus TV. Stay with us. you're watching beyond focus tv i'm lydia patel all right so like i said say jolie couture i've got the team here so why don't you tell us about how you feel about wearing this floral piece this floral piece is very comfortable it's not too itchy it's not it's not itchy at all actually mm-hmm. if you would think most designs would actually connect with your skin and it will make a rough feeling when you're walking around but this is very nice it's loose if you wanted to dance you could dance in it and the headpiece just brings it all together, so yes. nobody, no, everybody could wear it if they wanted to. And you know what? You mentioned something great about the ballet, you know, because you have that dancer's body as well, but you know how to connect it all together, which is great. Well, what about you, my dear? Well, this is really, I think this is really cute. 
you can dance in it with the length also i love the patterns i love that it comes out at the bottom like a skirt mm -hmm. and it looks very pretty great so your designs on three different women tell us about how did you pen this all together when were each of these actually designed um i go and buy the fabric then i think what i'm going to make out of it um this actually this um this is my um second design and this one i just make it for my last fashion show and this one it was on my third design for my spring fashion week so you mentioned something interesting you buy the fabric first so you kind of do it the reverse way because a lot of people might sketch mm -hmm. get the idea mm -hmm. then go source the fabric yeah. but you'll get the fabric and then decide what you'll make out of that fabric yes that's an interesting technique mm -hmm. i just look at it and i'm hmm. You're like yeah i want to do I'm something gonna, yeah, this with this fabric make out of it so what about someone for somebody who loves fabric I guess what I'm trying to say is when you go to the garment industry, mm -hmm. 34th Street in Midtown, and you see those spools of fabric, mm -hmm. for you, do you still like and enjoy going and touching the fabric? Yes. It's like going to a candy store. Yeah. Mm hmm I can imagine. Because <laughs> it's exciting. A lot of times when I walk by, you would see just fabrics for days and yeah. even myself I'm involved with the Labor Day mm -hmm. parade and mm -hmm. when we design our costumes we're sourcing feathers and, and different the material and the, exactly do you want it matte do you want it this type of shiny and mm -hmm. it, it could go on so I guess I, I do see that how you could really enjoy that yes now what aspects that you think people may not be aware of in terms of the business part of it because this is ultimately a business mm -hmm. and people don't sometimes understand that throwing a fashion show trying to get people renting a venue it takes a whole team to make a production mm -hmm. um for myself i i don't usually do fashion i don't produce fashion show yet um what i did um i have a person that i usually produce show with mm -hmm. but for myself i don't do it um, I usually have do a fashion show when they book me, and it's really fun. Yeah. Yeah, it's really fun. I usually get booked a lot because people love the design, they like the color, it's exciting. They just love it. And, and what do you really want people to take away from, you know how certain designers you could spot and be like, oh, that's a Donna Karen. Mm -hmm. This is a Calvin Klein. Mm -hmm. What do you think is kind of unique that people know it's Mijin? For my design, they're very stylish. Yeah. When I have photo shoot, all my models are very stylish. When they are on the runway, they already know that's my design because the models can be they very bring it. stylish. Yes. When, when they're on the runway, they know that's me. And everything Absolutely. the models wearing, it's basically my style. That is so great because, mm -hmm. you know, a lot of people think about it, don't incorporate the model into the design. And what I mean by that is going back to the traditional Eurocentric view, mm -hmm. the model is the hanger. Yes. You're there to, it's not about you, it's about the clothes. Mm -hmm. But you incorporate the model because they understand that we bring the clothes to life. Yes. When they're in the wrong way, they know that's my design because... It's very different, very stylish. Yeah, people love it. And That's I absolutely great. love it too. So as models, ladies, tell us about an experience. I want each of you to give me an experience of an event or fashion show that you may have been involved in. And it just really was memorable for you. Who wants to start? Start on this end. Okay. Um, well, a fashion show that I've done was recently. It's very memorable for me because... Everything just went well together. The and down to the holes, down to the designers, down to the models, and it was beautiful. Everything just came together well. Everyone was really nice. They worked together, and once I'm not nervous to be on the runway anymore. Mm -hmm. When I first first started, I was very very nervous, but now when I do runway, I love it. I feel very excited. I feel free, especially being you know not tall. Mm -hmm. And I'm not skinny, especially when I do walk out on the runway, people embrace me just for the size that I am. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And what about yourself? 
You seem like you like to be on stage. <laughs> <laughs> she is. My most memorable fashion show was when I went to the Virgin Islands with one of my modeling agencies to do a show that was being broadcasted there. And everything was just so organized and everything was beautiful. The set was beautiful. The models were nice. Like if I had something wrong, they would ask if I needed help mm -hmm. and I would help them. And even another thing that made it so memorable because everybody felt like a family there. And even my agency, we all like live as a family and we talk to each other and make sure everybody's okay. But when we were there, I remember practicing and all of a sudden, like models would walk up to me and be like, would you like to wear one of my pieces? Even though I was supposed to be in one designer. It was just like, it wasn't, you were set on one thing. Mm -hmm. You had opportunities anywhere you went. So that and was great. my most memorable one. Absolutely. What about you? Um, my most memorable fashion show would have to be um, the one last March that I was in. Meiji was also there. I don't mm -hmm. know if you remember. Yeah, I remember. But, oh, you remember? Okay. Mm -hmm. um, we started off doing preparation beforehand, of course. And the way everybody just fit together like a puzzle piece was just amazing. Everybody had great energy. They just, mm -hmm. like you said before, we, were, we felt like a family and everybody interacted so well. And I love the fashion show because they gave everybody an opportunity to express their talent, whether yes. it was dance, whether it was singing or rapping, whether it was oh, just wow, modeling. Oh, wow, that's great. It was everything, and I just, I, I loved it. And, w and where was the show? It was actually in Harlem, mm -hmm. right? Harlem, yeah. That's nice. So you're really expanding your repertoire. And ultimately, and this is just an open question for all of you, where do you s want to see your modeling career grow? Meaning... Do you want to do fashion, print, uh, editorial? Everything. Everything. <laughs> <laughs> Just watch your face out there. <laughs> Everything. Yeah. And what about you? Same? Um, I more so want to be, one of my biggest goals is to become a Victoria's Secret model when I'm older. <laughs> 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 to um, see myself on like maybe one of the Manhattan billboards. And that's really just print and runway. Print or runway. And for you? Um, for me, I just want to inspire little girls. I just love it. Let them know that if you want to do uh, modeling, you can do it. It's possible. So that's why. Great. Yeah. We'll take a quick be break. Be brave and be careful. Be brave yes. and be careful. And <laughs> on that note, we'll yes. take a quick break. We'll be right back. You're watching Beyond Focus TV. Stay with us. Welcome back. You're watching Beyond Focus TV. I'm Lydia Patel. So, Miji, why don't you tell us about what do you have planned for 2019? We're almost halfway through. It's it's just crazy. The year is blowing mm -hmm. by, and there's a lot. But give us a sneak peek to like maybe the last half of 2019. What we can expect to see from you. For 2019, I want to do more fashion show with my design. Put it out there more, and I just have my website where you can order my design it's www.sergiolicouture.com just go on my website and you can shop anything that you like for 2019 i just want to do more mm -hmm. with my designs so what are you doing in terms of promotion of course you know social media and a lot of there's so many different avenues now mm -hmm. i think especially if you're a designer so what do you think is going to be the best avenues for yourself um, I will say going to NY Fashion Week in September. That would be perfect. Okay. Yeah. And do you looking to be a part of it or maybe just attend and, and network? What do just you show see? my design. Just show my design. Um, I actually did do a um did a NY Fashion Week show. It was fun but I think when you do more NY Fashion Week it's very important for designers because that that's the time for you to show what you have because it's fashion everybody excited so mm -hmm. yeah absolutely mm -hmm. so what does it take to really get to be a part of that because so many people don't know how to penetrate that so and it's not as easy as they think it is that is true that is true um for me you know i'm a model so 
um, I have people that I know that yeah. can put me on those shows. Very and quick. network. And yeah. network with And it. they also like my design. It's not a problem at, at all. If I want to show my designs in NY Fashion Week, I can absolutely do that. I and have people that I know. <laughs> that and that's a show. blessing because you it know is. what? You've built those relationships. Mm-hmm. And through your time and your modeling, and now you have the opportunity to actually get to showcase your collection. Yes. As a model, I will say um, to other models, um, being a model, it's not only about modeling, just wearing the clothes. Um, doing you, when you're modeling, you have to focus what's next. For example, you have to learn about it make friends and get to know more people that you can learn from not just about modeling but that's an excellent tip mm -hmm. because as fast as it's over and we know unless you have a, a massive collection these shows could be over in five minutes that is true that it is could true. be over you know you couple turns everyone claps the designer mm -hmm. comes out and it's on to the next and if you don't have things constantly rolling that could be your last show that is true. Make sure you have friends. <laughs> be nice. Be nice to people. Be and nice to the be play nice. nice. <laughs> be nice. Don't be too nice. Like don't say yes to everything. Because that's when they can take, take advantage. advantage of you. Yeah. I think that's an excellent takeaway for other people, whether male or female, mm -hmm. breaking into the industry. Yes, you want to be nice, you wanna be ready, willing, and able mm -hmm. to to be available, but just know when there are key signs of being taken advantage of. Absolutely. Don't be a yes person all the time. Know when to say no, when, know when to say yes. Yeah. What are some red flags that models should definitely look for if they're going for a casting? Because safety is always important. You hear horror stories of people getting taken advantage of. Um, so what are some tips that you could give for that? They have to do research first. Make sure you know um, where you're going and make sure that you know some background about that person that's going to shoot you before you go to that photo shoot. Yeah, it can be very scary. Yes. Yeah. Make sure you do your research first. What about bringing a friend? Or yeah, or you can bring your mom, your brother, or your friend, your sister with you. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because I think it's always yeah. better yeah when when they book you for a photo shoot and the person saying um i'm going to shoot you on my studio just come by yourself um you have to say no don't, don't go by yourself especially when the person is a man yeah what about people who ask for money up front depending mm -hmm. you don't have to pay first make sure you got your shot first then after that after they finish shoot you look look on the camera check the pictures and see enough thing then make a deal with them and then if you want to pay now you can pay if you want to pay later you, make, you pay just get comfortable with it make them understand what it's gonna be absolutely mm -hmm. that's great make them like for example make them trust you a little bit for example if you tell them that um i cannot pay now i need to see the picture first but I need you to trust me that you're going to get paid. You can also do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you just have to decide what to do. Because I heard a lot of story about models that they took the money, they never get it back. Yeah, exactly. They never yeah. get the prints. Mm -hmm. It's not what they wanted. Yeah. Definitely. Especially when you first start. And what would you say now that you mentioned starter? What would be the starter pack that every model trying to get their footprint into the industry? This starting, they have to starting with a modeling agency first. That's, that's the person that going to book you for shows. And to that, they're gonna book you for a show, what to do next, and what, this, what person to work with, what person to trust. Yeah, they have to start with an agency first. That's a, that's mm -hmm. a great tip. Because if you don't start with an agency, that can be, it can be very confusing for the models. Like, what should I do next? Should I do that with them or that? Because you don't know those person. Absolutely. And they can be very mean when you first started. Oh, they're not nice when you first started. When you go to a show, they're going to give you that look like, who are you? Like, you already know what they are saying. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
I agree. Mm -hmm. And let us know, how do we reach you on your social media, your Instagram, and see some of your designs? Yes, you can follow me on Instagram. Um, the model 28 T H E M O D E L 28 and sexually couture um, at sexually couture C E S T J O L I couture C O U T U R E. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Well, Majin, thank you very much for being our guest here tonight, ladies. Give it a let's give a round of applause for the Shijali Couture team, these beautiful thank models. You guys are great for, for being you. young adults and coming out and, and doing fantastic. So we're looking forward to seeing more of you in the future, okay? Thank you. <laughs> and as always, if you have any questions or comments, you can send us an email at info at beyondfocusmedia.com. I'm your host, Lydia Patel. Thank you so much for joining us, and we'll be back again next week. Same time, same place you're watching. Beyond Focus TV, stay with us. Beyond Focus TV show wants and needs your feedback. Did we blunder? Please let us know so we can improve. Was the show helpful to you? Drop us a note so we can share the success with our staff members. Is there something you think we could do better? We welcome new ideas and new approaches to old ideas. Do you have a great suggestion? Let us know and we'll work on it. If you would like to share your comments anonymously, please send us an email at info at beyondfocusmedia.com. If you want to get in touch with the executive producer directly, send him an email at gene at beyondfocusmedia.com. We really look forward to hearing from you. We really look forward to hearing from you.